Hello everyone, this is Victory on the host today. Today I'm interested to share some new machine with you that is a steel chef. And we have the three sets of the machine to produce this, this sort of the product. This is the finished product and we have united them to be a chef. Somehow it's not uh, well organized to produce the to produce the pots. So this sort of the shelf is just could be for your reference. So the machine will be the three sets. One of the machine will produce this angle steel is perforation, and uh, the hook will be good enough to insert the slot. And this is the beam, say channel beam. This is L struggle, and the secondary machine will produce this U channel. The third machine is sort of the uh, box board, and uh, the box board will be is somehow like the decking panel of the shelf. So this is how we united the products coming out from the machine to be a shelf. So now, right now, we check in the first machine, which produce this angle, L angle. Here is the machine. On this machine, we have the cassette unit, to can produce, which can produce two sorts of the profile, L angle. So from this cutting die, you will check this is the secondary profile, secondary design. And the, the machine structure here is tracking flying cutting. This is the Turkish, Turkish head. And here in this cassette unit, it's combined the 14 rolling stations. The most great part of this machine is that we have combined the two designs into one single machine with cassette design. And here is the feeding table. In front will be a motorized decoller and the puncture station, but it's somehow prepared by the customer self. So what I gonna tell you is about this forming machine. So firstly, we check the first unit of the cassette. The machine body frame is sort of the welded structure with integrated surface. And the surface is well machined to good enough for the cassette loading. This T slot will be used for cassette to against this liner. This is the feeding table. And we can check this sort of the feeding table somehow is also very different from our traditional ones. This is the strip guider with the roller and this unit can move on this T-rail. This is the which is different from the others. And the secondary part is the transmission. Seems the thickness of the profile is just about 0.8 to 1.0. Sometimes the customer will gonna to produce by maybe 1.2. It's less. It's less jobs. But still, we use this sort of the double chain, and with this tension, which means in middle of the two gear on top of the chain, double chain. We also use one more gear to make the chain running more tension. It helped to make the profile more accuracy. The other part of the reason is that, suppose this is the L strips. There are so many punching holes on the profile. So, it needs high accuracy to cut off to less. 
the third part of this line, we have combined this servo motor for main transmission motor, and the brain is delta, is is delta AC motor. This is hydraulic pump with air cooling system. Then here is what we call like core hose sensor. This sensor, this sensor will count the passing or the passing the hose. Then it will give the signal back to the PLC. So the cutting die will do the cutting off to the dance. So this is a line. The each part we carry about just to make sure the cutting lens is in high accuracy. As well, here is the operation table. We have combined Mitsubishi system. Mitsubishi system. This is Mitsubishi operation system. Some more detail about the machine. And this is how we build up the machine construction. This is the first set of the machine which can produce two units of the L angle machine with cassette design. Uh, this is the first, first part of the unit and we can check the cassette unit is here. So this unit of the cassette is, will produce the secondary L angle and we can pay attention to that even on the secondary cassette unit we have independent Turkish head and also we have independent sensor as well as feeding table. This is what we carry about the fast, which we call like a fast to quick change. So Turkish head and the feeding table will be well fixed on the two cassettes units. Then it will be reload to this machine housing frame for secondary profile, to settle down the secondary profile. And we also notice that the surface of the cassette is well machined. And this sort of the screw will also help to settle down the cassette once we reloaded, once we reloaded the cassette unit onto the housing this sort of the screw will lock, lock down the place. This is Turkish hat. This is the first line and I will move to the secondary line for you channel. And then this is the secondary machine which is made for U channel. Firstly, let's check what we produced. One is this sort of the product. Secondary is this product. These two sort of the hook will be inserts into the L angle. Uh, for example, here is the product. This is the machine. Basically, the machine structure is same as the an angle machine, but the most different part is about the chain. Due to the profile, somehow it's simple. It's just forming the angle. The machine is just combined about 18 rolling stations. And due to we need the civil tracking cutting, so this unit of the machine, we have changed to delta operation system this is the single as well as we still use this kind of the gear tension between each block we still add this sort of the tension gear to make pressure on the chain 
and also to make the punching head, to make the punching. The feeding table is all thin. The rail can move, the feeding guide roller can move on the rail to adjust to the different feeding strips. And here from the decoder feeding table, and here is the pre-punch. We have three stations of the punching head. The each has different function. You can see this is the waist part. From the waist part, we can see a little bit what we done for this sort of the product. So unit of the punching die one, punching die two, punching die third. And this is the feeding, uh, this is the forming steps. Casting pillar with chain transmission. And the surface, the most important to make the high accuracy of the product is about the surface milling. You can check. The, surf, the housing surface machine body frame is well machined. And then for cutting off, we have applied this civil tracking cutting system. It's a flying tracking. Somehow the machine generally structure is same as the first one, angle machine. And on this machine, we can produce three kinds of the product. One is this U, without any punching, it's just a strictly profile. Secondary is somehow with the thread. And the secondary one, third one is about this punching in the end, and also this sort of the punching in the middle. This is all the products can be done on this machine. U channel, which is the beam for shelf, steel shelf. The third machine is about this box board, or we call it like a decking panel machine. This decking panel machine somehow is very unique, and uh, especially for this sort of the cutting and the bending system. This is our cutting, cutting die, and the, again, somehow the structure is by this sort of the integrated wall panel, integrated steel panel. This thickness of the panel is 30 millimeter, and again we use integrated machine body frame, and this is, you, you check how we do the machine construction. Hydraulic pump, operation panel, same as U channel. Due to we need this sort of the delta system, we have applied the delta operation system as well. And the machine can move, weight can be moved on the rail, and it's driven by silver motor for weight change as well. The main motor is delta. And you can check the machine body construction, feeding table, leveling, left and the right side, the notch and the punching system, forming steps, cutting operation system, cabinet. Leveling. This is two rubber rubber wheel. It's great used for clamping the material. On this panel, we also can make two kinds of the box panel, deck panel. Add all this sort of the gear dwelling two stations. And 
you can check we both have the forming roller together with the vertical roller to help forming good accuracy. This is how we build up these three lines and the products coming out from these three units of the machine will be two kinds of the shelf board. And let's check what's the product coming out from the machine. This is one sort of the panel. The length of the panel could be set into the system, as well as the width. The max width could be up to 400 mm. This is depends on customer requirement. So this is one of the panel which coming out from this machine.